revealed, look what Trump said to father of fallen soldier. The mainstream media is zeroing in on the latest scandal to plague President Trump. According to mainstream news outlets and Democrat operatives, President Trump has been too callous in his courtesy calls to Gold Star families. President Trump has promised to send $25,000 of his own money to the father of a fallen soldier who died in Afghanistan in June. Yesterday, the White House confirmed that the check was in the mail after mainstream media outlets accused President Trump of reneging on his promise, as reported by the Washington Examiner. President Trump has made a habit of offering condolence calls to Gold Star families, the families of the brave men and women who perished serving the United States military. After the death of Army Corporal Dylan Baldridge in June, President Trump reached out to Baldridge's father to express his condolences. The senior Baldridge told the president that his ex-wife has been registered as their son's beneficiary and because of this, she alone was scheduled to receive the Pentagon's $100,000 death gratuity. During the conversation, Baldridge told President Trump that he could barely rub two nickels together. In response, President Trump said he would cut him a check for $25,000 from his own account. Additionally, the president said he would advise his staff to set up an online fundraiser for the Baldridge family. Recounting the event in an interview with The Washington Post, Baldridge said he did not have proof that the phone call took place, and that he was shocked by the president's generous offer. He said, I'm going to write you a check out of my personal account for $25,000. And I was just floored, explained Baldridge. I could not believe he was saying that, and I wish I had it recorded because the man did say this. He said, no other president has ever done something like this, but he said, I'm going to do it. President Trump has been on the defensive for reaching out to Gold Star families after U.S. Representative Frederica S. Wilson, DFL accused him of disrespecting the Gold Star family during a phone conservation she listened in on. According to the Florida Democrat, President Trump explained that Maishia Johnson's widow, whose husband was recently slain in Niger, knew what he was signing up for, but I guess it hurts anyway. Rep. Wilson said she was riding in a limousine with Maishia Johnson when the president made his condolence call. Johnson has not replied to requests for comment. But another woman present in the limo for the conservation claims the family was offended. President Trump has denied that he offended the family and has accused Rep. Wilson of fabricating the events. I had a very nice conversation with the woman, with the wife who was, sounded like a lovely woman, the president said. Did not say what the congresswoman said, and most people aren't too surprised to hear that. Responding to the allegations leveled by the Washington Post, a White House spokesperson said, the check has been sent. It's disgusting that the media is taking something that should be recognized as a generous and sincere gesture, made privately by the president, and using it to advance the media's biased agenda.